Welcome to the Personal Trainers Who Care podcast. My name is Catherine Marion, and I am a trainer and manager at the Freeform Fitness Wellington location. And I will also be your host as we get to know another one of our terrific trainers. Here we share the stories of our personal trainers because at the heart of every fitness business is a passionate individual who cares about changing lives and helping others realize their full health potential. This podcast is a production of Free for Fitness, a boutique style personal training studio with six locations across Ottawa, Canada. Here we hire the very best personal trainers. They are ambitious, hardworking team players who know how to get their clients results. Our trainers provide expert personal training services in studio, but also online. And every program is tailored to the individual needs of the client. If you would like to know more about Freeform Fitness, be sure to visit us at freeformfitness.ca. In today's episode, we're going to talk to Cameron Wong. He's a personal trainer at the Wellington location, but Cameron isn't just any trainer. He's a trainer with a black belt. Welcome to today's edition of the Personal Trainers Who Care podcast. Thanks for joining us today. So listen, uh, black belt, I always just assumed black belt meant in karate, but there's a whole bunch of different martial arts, isn't there? Yeah. yeah. So what's your black belt? Uh, I have a uh, black belt in a martial arts called American Uge. It's a uh, Korean style martial art. Okay, and how did you get into that? I started when I was really young, just something to get into a little bit. Parents dropped me off. And, so was yeah. it their decision originally? Yeah, yeah. And then, but, but you kept it up. Did that eventually did that become something that you wanted to do for yourself? Yeah, I had fun. Um, it was a good way, kind of after school uh, activity, and uh, I enjoyed it a lot. And then I, I moved into teaching a little bit more. Um, and yeah, that was kind of like my first experience with people. Okay, so uh, I've never heard of it. So what what does it resemble? What's it like? Uh, it's kind of like Taekwondo. Okay. A little bit, yeah. Very of, cool. Yeah. And so, do you still do that today? Is that something that you still, are you no, still active in today? I haven't done it in a while, but... Uh, so, do, does that mean they take away your black belt if you don't do it for a while? No, no, okay. it's, it's buried somewhere here, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I haven't kept up too much with it. Okay, and so, do you think that, um, if I were to ask you, what did it bring to you? What did it bring to your life, this, you know, this martial art that you were practicing? What were some of the positives about it? Um, well, physically, it was good for me, but I found, like... The self-discipline and the just able to push myself something I enjoy that kind of taught me uh, a little bit about that at an early yeah. age yeah those are really good skills to have as well awesome um do you think that any of those skills you bring them with you into your personal training work oh yeah yeah, yeah. for sure um yeah just keeping with it even like on my own training um I feel like just pushing yourself and being able to go past the certain limits on your own is a skill on its own. Yeah. Do you think a lot of that is, is more of a, an up here thing than a body thing going past your limits? I think so. Yeah. 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 I read in your notes that you were saying that um, training didn't come easy for you. What do you mean by that? I just found that uh, like I, I played a bunch of sports. I was always active. Um, I never really felt the need to go to the gym or anything like that. Um, I thought just practice and stuff was enough. Um, and then I started to get into it a little bit more. Um, and then I started to see that it translated to other sports and my performance. So, yeah. So, you know, as in, you mean training with weights was, yeah, exactly. able, that was able to help you in your other sports. Yeah. What are the other things that you enjoy doing? I like to, I used to ski race quite a bit. Ski race like downhill? Yeah. Downhill race. Really? <laughs> Okay, that's that's a little crazy. That could be crazy. Is it is it the kind where you're going around, you know how they go around the post, that kind yeah, of ski exactly. racing? Yeah. Wow. Any big tumbles? Oh yeah. <laughs> any, any broken bones? Um, not skiing, no. Okay, not skiing, but yes, in life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just yeah. <laughs> uh, just yeah. Sometimes there's stories we're not meant to talk about. Okay, let's not talk <laughs> about broken bones. Uh, but that's an exciting sport. Like obviously you don't mind the adrenaline rush if you're you know slamming down a mountainside. No, yeah, you have to be a little crazy. <laughs> wow, that's awesome. Um, okay, so you've got skills, you know, you've got the martial arts, you've got the skiing. How do you bring all that into what you do here at Freeform Fitness? A lot of uh like unique exercises that we did then, I like to bring into here and uh train with my clients here. Um and they're not necessarily the most complex, but uh, they add a little bit of variety to just doing the push-ups and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And sometimes, I, 
it's not the most complex that are the most beneficial, would you say? Would yeah. you agree? I think, they, yeah, keep it simple, yeah. <laughs> okay, so you started here in October, 2021. Yes. So do you remember what brought you to, to you know, personal training to begin with? Like, how is it that you started off deciding that, okay, I want to, I want to do, you know, be a personal trainer? It was just, I mean, sports has been like, surrounding my life since I was very young. Um, and then my last year of university, I was in an internship where we worked with uh, like high level volleyball players. I found it very fun to kind of watch them push themselves and be able to help them succeed at their own thing. Um, and then coming into personal training, working with like the general public, I found it just something to help people get on with the day to day mm -hmm. and make life a little bit easier. You know, I, I want to touch on that because I think a lot of times there's a misconception about personal training that it's, you know, the big moves, right? The, the big, the big squats, the big deadlifts, but you just said you want to help people get on with their day-to-day -day living. Yes. <laughs> what is it about that? What's that? What does that mean to you? Um, just enjoying life a little bit more and being able to move. Um, sometimes it's tough to wake up and not be able to get out of bed. If you have like kind of motivation and strength to do that, um, I feel like it'll help a lot. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so you went in for your um, certification so that you can work as a personal trainer, but you've got a couple of other certifications as well. What are those? I saw those on your list that you've got a couple, you've got two other certifications. Uh, well, I don't have them yet, but I want to uh, move in towards them. So I just graduated for human kinetics at the University of Ottawa. Interesting. Yeah, and I want to get uh, my, uh, um, be part of like the School of Kinesiology. So I'm going to be registered there at some point soon. That's huge. <laughs> That's huge. Yeah. That's going to be more studying for you, no? Yeah, it's going to take yeah, yeah. a little bit. <laughs> and so, okay, what leads you to want to do that? What leads you to, to want to learn even more about keeping Um, I don't know, just something that drives me a little bit. Um, learning a little bit more how people move and how, uh, how to help people with certain, um, certain things in their life. Like sometimes some, some people have some disabilities or anything like that. And just learning a little bit more about that kind of drives me a little bit. That's, that's really great. I also saw that you would like to get a certification uh, in relation to nutrition. Yeah, yeah. Now, how do you think that those two things together combined are going to help you, you know, even be a better trainer for your clients? Um, well, even now I have a lot of clients ask me about nutrition and I give them what I think is best. Mm -hmm. um, but obviously there's a lot to learn around that, uh, around nutrition and I think it will help a lot. Yeah, yeah. that's really incredible. So um, talk to us a little bit about freeform fitness. So now you've been here for, you know, since October. Um, what is it about this format that you find works really well for you? You know, what are the, do you think some of the benefits for, for the members and the clients that, that come to here? I like the one-on-one. -on -one. Um, it gives kind of the clients and the personal trainer um, somewhat of a relationship. And I feel like it helps not only the client, but the trainer to, to push each other um, a little bit further. Um, and I like the shorter sessions, like the 30 minute sessions. Um, that way people can come in um, for the lunch break, get a really good workout in and then go on with the rest of the day. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. You know, sometimes people think that they can do that all on their own. Like, you know, just come into a gym by myself and, you know, work out the best I can for 30 minutes and off I go. What do you think the benefits are of having someone like you with that person? What is it that you bring to their work that you think that they might not be able to do on their own? Aside from like the knowledge and all that stuff, I think it's the accountability is the biggest part. Um, a lot of people always say they can do it and then it's just keeping in, keeping, keeping up with it and the consistency of going to the gym, um, which I find is probably the toughest part for people. Yeah. Um, and then having like sessions with us, I think helps a lot with their accountability at home. Yeah, because it, you know, if they, if they're coming into free form for a workout, it's because there's an appointment. So they know somebody's waiting for them. Exactly, yeah. Right? So sometimes we tell ourselves, I'm gonna to go to the gym today. And then next thing you know, it's 8 p.m. And oh, well. <laughs> it's too late now, yeah. It's too late now, yeah. So, you know, I think certainly I, I would agree with you there. Um, so we're talking about accountability, but what about the teaching aspect of it? Do you find that you spend a lot of your time teaching, correcting form? Is that part of, is that also a huge part of what, of what you do with each of your clients? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, just being able to, to have proper technique and lower the risk of an injury. Um, 
helps a lot and also gives the clients a little bit more confidence when they're lifting even on their own. Um, yeah. Do you think almost anyone can lift? Yeah, I would say so, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I don't see why not. <laughs> As, would you say that there are, I think people think lift and they just think, you know, deadlift. But there are different ways of lifting, isn't there? Yeah, of course. Um, even just moving your body is kind of a type of lift. It's like any type of like calisthenics, stuff like that. You're still fighting against gravity. Um, yeah. Yeah. No, there's just the weights. <laughs> Well, we we were faced with a little bit of that. You talk about just lifting your body, which is a lift, because you know, in the last couple of years, we've been open, then locked down, and then open, and then locked down. And you know, doing these kind of sessions over Zoom, um, you know, a lot of people at home said, "Well, I've got no equipment. Can I have a workout?" And wasn't that a learning curve? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, trying to find like small objects around your house to use as equipment, like a chair or something like that. Yeah. And, sure. and it still worked, didn't it? Of course, yeah. Stayed, everyone still got a really good workout. Um, and they were just all shocked that um, like a dish towel can help them even just <laughs> right? checking out. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, okay, so there are always a bunch of questions that I, you know, I like to ask people, um, you know, about, uh, about themselves. So thinking back, what is something that you know now that you wish you knew when you first started personal training? That's, that uh, our clients are very trustworthy of what we do. And um, just we're able to, to, to get more involved and uh, push them a little bit. Uh, like before I wasn't really, like my first month or two, I was kind of iffy on touching my clients, moving them in the right position. Um, and then now I'm uh, more involved in their lift and it looks like it, helps them a lot to kind of feel what it's like to get into the right position and stuff like that. Yeah, a lot of what we do is tactile. Like, yeah, I mean, exactly. there's, you know, a lot of words to try to explain something, but, you know, in the end, you, when you ask them permission, can I show you? <laughs> it helps a whole lot, doesn't oh, yeah, it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, what is the first skill that you like to teach beginners? Someone that's just starting up that may have never stepped foot in the gym before. Um, probably being able to, aside from, like, the breathing, um, probably being able to engage the core and and engage the glutes is the biggest part because um, a lot of lifts involve those areas to be very braced to risk the injuries and stuff like that. Okay, so let's give everyone a little bit of at home. When you talk about breathing, why is breathing so important? Um, well, breathing, <laughs> oxygen flows throughout the entire body and it's important to get them oxygen towards the right muscle groups, as well as it, it calms, calms you down a little bit for lifts as well. Okay. And gets in the right mindset, I think. Do you find that a lot of people tend to want to hold their breath? Yeah. So what do you think, if, if I'm asking about you, what do you think is your most valuable coaching skill? What do you think you bring to your clients, maybe more than, than someone else would do? I think your, your experience in martial arts is one of them. You know, I think that the fact that you have all of these skills that you can, you know, you can kind of fish from to bring into your personal training, but what do you think that you bring here that's really valuable to your clients? Um, well, yeah, I got, I feel like I have a pretty big toolbox of, um, just a lot of different exercises, a lot of different ways to kind of help. Um, but I feel like, um, I push my clients a little more than they think they could have pushed themselves. Um, I always kind of, for example, on the incline push up, I always bump it down one extra, like halfway through their set, just cause I know they can do it, but they might not know they can do it. Yeah. And they always feel a little bit better because. Um, it's something that you've never thought they could do, but now they can't. So it feels like success. Yeah, a little bit. Well, you know, in your notes, you talk about how your favorite is deadlift. Mm -hmm. So I've seen you do it. It's pretty spectacular. Why is that your favorite exercise? I don't know. Just lifting a lot of weight off the ground feels good. It's rewarding, very beneficial too. Um, but at the same time, I think the biggest part of it is you just, I feel strong doing it. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Absolutely. And I've seen you instruct your clients on how to do it they're not lifting what you're lifting yet but they might some of them might some of them are close yeah some of them are close that's yeah. awesome i was he hearing about a funny story that happened yesterday and i thought we have to tell everybody at home because crazy things happen in the gym all the time so what happened with your shorts yesterday yeah i was <laughs> <laughs> i went to uh i was squatting here um and i went down and like pretty low and then i just heard like a big rip and i could feel that like my my underwear ripped but 
And then I looked over and Nick and his client were looking at me. So they heard too. So they were laughing as well? Yeah, they were laughing a little bit. So now what do you gotta do? You gotta rock and make sure like that your butt's not out for everyone to see. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we rocked it. I looked around, I was like, we're okay. And I just went out with my workout, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, things that can happen in the gym all the time. I love it. So uh, listen, before we go, is there anything else that you'd love to, you know, for people, if they're watching us right now, what you'd like them to know about you? Why, you know, come on in and train with me here at the Wellington location. What would you like anybody to know about you? Yeah, no, come on in. <laughs> You're here. Yeah. There's room in your schedule still. Of course. Yes. You like to push people. I like to push people. You're um, not scary. No, I promise I'm not scary. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, so listen. That's it for us today. I want to thank you for joining me and for sharing a little bit about, no about you and your knowledge and what you enjoy doing. And all the best in, you know, the studies that you've got coming up in, you know, kinesiology. That's going to be huge. Yeah. Do you know when that starts? Is that, is that planned for soon? Yeah, I'm going to try to um, get for the fall term. Wow, oh, craziness. Love it. Well, that's it for today. Now, if you want to uh, know more about us, just check us out on YouTube. We're pretty much everywhere. Um, you can also like and comment on just about everything that you see uh, on the Freeform Fitness YouTube channels. And we always enjoy responding to your comments as well. And uh, you can check out our past podcast to see and learn about more of our trainers. And uh, we're going to keep these up. We've got a couple new trainers that we'll be talking to in the next month or so. So you can tune in to see all of that as well. So that's it for today's edition. Thanks for joining us. And thank you. Thank you. All right. See you next time. Thank you.